Israel, I need you here. Look, Rhonda and Aunt Gina is coming over, okay? Aunt Gina is going to come first, all right? I need you here. Look, Rhonda called me a few nights ago talking about, about her, about Aunt Gina owing her $25. Now, I'm going to need you here. Karin is here. Yeah, Karin is here. But Israel, Israel. Didn't go so well, did it? No, no, it didn't go well, Karin. And I should have known it wasn't going to go well to begin with. You know, Israel don't want to get caught up in no drama. And you know that like, you've been knowing Israel for years like I have. Well, you haven't known him as long as I have. We and him we have been knowing each other for almost a decade almost. Um, and not a decade yet, but almost a decade. But, you know how Israel is. He don't want to be caught in no drama with nobody. <clears throat> So when exactly Aunt Gina and Rhonda is coming? I don't know. Any time now. They could show up any time. But I think Aunt Gina told me that she was going to come first. Oh, hey, Rhonda. Hi, Preacher Don. Where that girl at? Hey, Preacher Don. Where that girl at? Uh, Aunt Gina didn't make it today. Um, oh, I want to introduce you to somebody. This is Karin, my friend Karin. He's a barber and, uh, that's my friend Karin over there. Hi, nice to meet you, Karin. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, hello, Rhonda. Uh, uh, future darling. I don't know if I'm going to stay here for this. Karin, you going to sit there? And you're going to sit there and be quiet. Is I called Israel so he could come here, but he decided not to help me. So you're just going to have to stay there until Aunt Gina comes. So anyway, Rhonda, tell me that, tell me what happened between you and Aunt Gina that night. What happened was, um... Aunt Gina owes me $25, so I came to collect, and she's claiming she didn't have the money. So we had a little argument, but no fight or anything. But I hope she can come up with my money, because I really need my money. I got bills to pay. You see my new bag? I spent my last money I had on this little bag. I'm going to be needing my money, because, you know, this bag on the railway, and I need my $25 to pay for this bag. Okay, um, Karin, did you call, did you call Aunt Gina and, tell, and ask her when is she coming here? I called her and she said she'll be here shortly. Now, Rhonda, I got a few questions I ask you. 
Are you or not Gina's gonna be in here arguing? No, we're not going to be arguing. I think our argue time is over with now. We'll just handle this. She'll give me back my money and everything will be over with. I but hope I'm not that's spend true. Today arguing. I hope that's true. Don't worry. So, now we need to get that agreement to Aunt Gina. And pretty darn, you are the one that's going to be asking Aunt Gina next. From now on, I'm just going to sit right there here and just be quiet and just watch it like I'm watching television or something. So, and you will do all the talking. I'm done. Where's my cane? I keep forgetting my cane. I need to walk around. Girl, what are you looking at? You know I got a broken leg. I'm trying to adjust my leg. That's why I'm walking around. Hey, <sighs> Kadon, you just sitting there looking silly. That's why I'm looking at you. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know your leg is broke. Just joking. Man, I better pull out this C4 on Gina. Uh, Rhonda, you can go over there and uh, sit down by a car and if you don't mind. Uh, me and Gina is going to be sitting over here and you and Car can sit over there. Uh, so we just going to have some something simple like a meeting. So I better just... uh. Assemble this. Oh, hey, uh, Gina. Um, oh, uh, hey, uh, Gina, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. I put you down. Oh, uh, you can sit up. Come on, sit over here. I'll sit right there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, guess we all here, so, so, this is Hi. how, this, Hi, Corinne, how are you? Yeah. Hi, Rhonda, how are you? Yeah, so, um, here's is gonna go, we gonna let Rhonda talk her half first. And then afterwards, we'll let then uh, Gina, you can talk right after Rhonda say what she say. So we're just going to take turns. So nobody will talk over each other or nothing else, right? So, um, guess you can proceed, uh, Rhonda. Gina. I really need you to pay me my $25. I have bills to pay. This new purse I bought was on layaway. I gotta pay the rest of it off. I need my $25. So I really would appreciate you would pay me back. You borrowed it with the pretensions of you paying this money back to me. You promised me this. I have no problems with you, but you gotta pay me back. So please do what I ask you to do. Rhonda, I would love to pay you back the money. However, I don't have it. And like you, I have a lot of bills to take care of. But rest assured, as soon as I get the $25, I will pay you back. 
As soon as possible, I will pay you back. I promise you, Rhonda, I'll pay you back. Haven't I paid you back in the past when you lent me 15 or $10? Back. Okay, Miss. Okay, Miss Gina. Okay. I rest my case. Three days to give me my $25 back. And after that, if you don't, I will have to take you to court or something. I need to get my money. All right. So you understand, Capiche? Good understanding now. So you gonna take me to court now? Okay, whatever you want. I will pay you back. I will pay you back. Do you hear me? And after this, I'm not borrowing nothing from you ever again. I learned my lesson. Rhonda, are you sure you gonna want to take her to court after this? Rhonda, come on now. You think? Don't you think taking her to court is a little too far? If she, if, if she. If she wants to, if she, when she gets the money, I'm sure she's going to pay you back. You just got to give her time now. I think taking the car is, is way too much. And I sure don't want to deal with Judge Weird Michelson now. You know what, Preacher Don? You can mind your own business. And Sister Gina, you know what, Preacher Don, you can... Aunt Gina, I'll see you later. Whew. I'm sorry about that, Aunt Gina. I... Uh, you sure you won't take this situation to court? Um, I don't know if Ron... I just hope Rhonda don't take this stuff to court. Who knows what she'll do. Yeah, me too. I really can't afford to be sued at this point, but I'll figure it out. I'll get that money to her. And, uh, I just hope she don't get in contact with Judge Ward Michelson because I've been in court with him dozens of times with many cases. I don't think you want to deal with Judge Ward Michelson. Yeah, that's true. I heard he's a, he's a bulldog. He's that bulldog type of um, judge. He holds no mercy for nobody. Yeah. So. But some people he let, he let off easy and give them six months to jail. Yeah. But you have to deal with him three times for him to give them the exact same. To give him the right sentence. Cause I yes, been I heard of him. He tried your case, didn't he? Against yes. Mr. Mayor. And then he did I also heard about that Israel. And, and then T-Bone. also T-Bone. T-Bone was a criminal. Mm-hmm. And all that. Whatever happened to that boy anyway, I wonder. But anyway, um, hopefully it won't go that far. Hopefully she'll do the right thing. Mm. And she'll give me this time to pay her off. I'm going to have to come up with this money, Preacher Don. Yeah. Well, if the case do come, I'm not going there. Been there, done that. I've been there for you, Preacher Don, many times with Judge Will Mike C in that court. I ain't doing it this time. No, 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 Preacher Don. Don't be thinking about inviting me there. No. I rather be in the bed sleeping than to sit there and been there with the, with the uh, same song or whatever. Sing, sing the same song. I ain't doing with that, man. Don't bother me.
and who said anything about you going to court? We don't even know if we even going to court behind this situation, Karn. Boy. Well, fellas, I gotta go. So I'll check you guys later. Okay, Argina. Nice Bye. seeing you again. Nice seeing y'all too. Pray for me. Yeah. Oh, I hope this don't take back to court. Cause Judge Ware Michelson. No, no. Well, I'm not in it. I'll be there in court to support on Gina, but I don't know what's the outcome coming out of this. I don't know what you look at me for, Israel. I mean, I didn't mean to call you Israel. Preacher Don, I, I don't know what you look at me like that, Preacher Don. There's, I got nothing to do with this. I just came, I just stayed here today to be like in the audience and watching. I don't know what you look at me for. So, your name is Rhonda, right? Yes. Um, uh, and you're wanting the case, get ready for the case for you and Miss Aunt Gina because she won't pay you $25, am I correct? Yes, you're correct. Now, so... What exactly do you want to do this case, ma'am? Well, as soon as possible, Judge. Okay. So, guess it's all prepared, then. It's nice meeting you, ma'am. Nice meeting you, too, Judge. Thank you and for your time. I'll get in contact with Aunt Gina as soon as I can. Since you gave me her number, I'll try to get in contact with her. And let her know what's going on. Okay, thank you. Okay, nice meeting you again. Nice meeting you again. And, uh, yeah, so, guess you're free to go. Okay. All right. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. Thank you. If you need anything, contact Judge Blair Michelson. Okay, sir. See you later. All right, see you later, ma'am.